Hey everybody, uh, Hart from My Heart Wine here today. Uh, coming to you from Fox Hollow Vineyards here in Homedale, New Jersey. Uh, just had a great grilled cheese with bacon sandwich to go with my glass of Cop Franc here. Uh, it was very good. Probably after having a piece of bacon, maybe not the best time to talk to you about vegan wine, but uh, here we go. Uh, so the other day we were talking about wine and how it's, uh, would you be interested in drinking vegan wine? I did a review on the vegan wine, the Westry Pinot Noir, uh, and some of you commented back to me, uh, part isn't wine always vegan, it's made out of grapes. And the answer to that is no, it is not always vegan. Uh, so there's a couple processes uh, with which they make wine clear. You can see here this wine is you know, pretty much see-through, uh, but definitely clear, not cloudy. Uh, and there's no little particles in there. Uh, although there are some microscopic particles that will fill up. Uh, drop to the bottom of the bottle eventually if you leave it around long enough. Uh, most of us drink our wine long before that ever happens. Uh, but the bigger particles, uh, they take out through a couple of processes, uh, filtering and fining. Uh, and if you ask some winemakers, that dramatically changes the taste of the wine. Uh, you're taking out little pieces of seeds and stems uh, and skin which get left behind in the winemaking process uh, and causes some sediment to occur at the bottom of the bottle if you leave it in there. Uh, so a lot of winemakers uh, take it out, especially the French. They consider it to be a fault in the wine if it's left behind. Uh, so they are definitely filtering and fining. Um, the fining process of removing all those little fine particles uh, is often done with animal products. So those animal products could include things like uh, gelatin, uh, isinglass, which is basically a gelatin made out of fish bladder, uh, or egg whites. Uh, and those items are dumped into the wine and they, fill, they kind of drop on their own through gravity through the wine uh, in the process of picking up all the little fine particles, uh, thereby by fining the wine. Uh, you know, it's not left in there. However, just because it's come in contact with it would make it technically not vegan. Uh, so if you are a serious vegan, or you have some sort of serious issue with uh, anything that's come in contact with any sort of animal product, uh, regular wine is not for you. You need to find wine that's been unfined uh, and unfiltered. Uh, and sometimes it's on the bottle, Sometimes it's not. You really have to go out looking for those things. Uh, so if you're interested, I can find you some. If you can't find them on your own, uh, again, the Westry Pinot Noir that I reviewed the other day uh, as the best pork chop wine uh, is vegan. Uh, a little bit of irony there that I reviewed it with pork chops, but uh, it's very good. I highly recommend it if you can get your hands on it. Uh, and again, if you need help getting your hands on it, let me know. Uh, one last thing, uh, if you have a chance, please uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, and share this video. Uh, it really makes a big difference in the YouTube analytics. I don't want to get too deep into uh, YouTube world and how uh, some videos get suggested and some don't. Uh, but if you don't uh, subscribe and share this video, I definitely go to the bottom of the barrel for people searching for this type of content. So please, if you do like what I'm doing here, uh, if you're interested in seeing more, uh, share and subscribe. Uh, and I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great day.